Hello there everyone, uh, this is Iron Mark 3 and welcome back to the giant stompy stompy robot simulator. That is, of course, MechWarrior Online. Yes indeed, time to go stomp on things. Mm. We really need a bigger robot game, <laughs> quite honestly, but still, battle mechs roll around, here we go. Right, for today's walk I am bringing back from last weekend the Raven, the RVN 3L once again. And this is a slightly different loadout because, uh, well, chatting with uh, Raz, who was behind the last time's monster random bloody bloody blah video, <laughs> basically. That's what I tend to call it if I start burbling on like that for too much. Um, we've got a slightly different one here in a different colour scheme. I'm using the pale blue and copper with black uh, secondary colour scheme I think now for my um, for my Hero Max, for the ones I've configured that I'm happy with the loadout. So things like my Archer's got that particular colour pattern. So I'm going to use other things for this one. In this case, it's just um, mostly copper and black. So that's why there's been a slight change in the appearance of it. Well, besides the weapon change, of course. Anyway, let us move on. Mech Lab. Expanded mode. Here we go. Um, we right. For the most part, this is the, about the same. It's got an end of steel structure and standard heat sinks. It's still running on an XL on 195 for a 90.3 top speed. And of course, it's an XL, so try not to get blown up too much because your side torsos will kill you if you lose those. But other than that, we've got an odd little mix here between, um, between the original loadout, which was first put together, uh, as suggested by Raz, and one of my, one of my thoughts experiments at the end of last week's episode which Raz actually said he enjoyed in the comments and he was particularly interested in it so here we go I've pulled it together and got it sorted out this is a sniper slash scouting slash bombardment approach Raven it's not got as much direct short-range firepower but it's better at a distance so it can stay away from things it has got a ER large laser in the right arm a single ER large, so it's not a sniper specialised Raven, it's more of a general purpose still. But the ER large is its main mid to long range firepower in direct combat. And it's that is supported by an LRM 10 with Artemis, with two tons of ammunition in the centre torso, just to keep it going. And then if things get close, I have a final fallback option, which is uh, honestly just something to sneeze at, basically, because it's, it, it's little more than like saying rude words to the... Uh, opponent over your mech's loudspeakers and hoping that they go the hell away. It's a streak SRM2 with half a ton of ammo. Because Artemis... Uh, the Artemis is such a real handicap on the small launches, I'm not even joking. It, it makes a standard SRM2 be at two slots and like two tons to fit, so it's like... Mm, no, might as well use the streak version. On the bright side, though, this mech is kind of specialised in electronic warfare and fast locking and stuff like that. So we've got a Beagle Active Probe, which increases lock speed and also detection options. And we have a Guardian ECM for stealth mode options. And we've got our usual, from the previous episode, AMS and half a ton of ammunition, just to help protect this mech if people decide, ooh, there's something nasty over there, let's just lob some guided missiles at it and hope it goes away. Because while I'm okay with um, people thinking that, I'd rather the missiles didn't actually hit me. So, you know, AMS. Lastly, though, we have um, three heat sinks to keep the mech cool with this engine size. But we also have an interesting little tech option here. We have, for the first time in quite a while in one of my videos, a mech fitted with stealth armor. Because Raz was particularly interested in that as an option to see it with stealth. And we have a stealth armoured raven. Though sadly, because the raven is not a locust, uh, I think we can't actually operate the stealth armour without overheating, especially since we've not really got that spectacular cooling in this particular mech. Even having the stealth armour turned on might overheat the mech slowly. Running around will almost certainly do it, and trying to fight, oh yeah, the mech will overheat really quickly. But on the bright side, it can't be locked onto at all while stealth armor is active, so that's why we've got it. And we'll see how well this goes, because stealth armor acts quite nicely in terms of um, helping out this mech 
stay far away, stay undetected, and stay really hard to lob guided missiles at. So, you know, that kind of jazz. It's got its own drawbacks, but it's got its own benefits as well. Though that odd bug of it locking all of your structure slots and things it is still very much a thing. That, I, I don't know why that's actually in the game. But yeah, anyway, that is my Raven 3L. And we are going to send it into the matches and see how well it performs. Roll on, match number one. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems online. Okay, here we go. Welcome, welcome to River City. The game mode is Assault Mode. So, the most basic of modes. One of the two that this game done, first had. Moving your ass, please. Uh, there we go. Oh. Okay, if I recall, oh. it's M. Yeah, there we go. There's my stealth mode. I'm not heating up. As soon as I start moving, though, oh, yeah, I begin to overheat and build up some heat. Yeah, I will slowly overheat unless I turn my stealth mode off. And then, of course, it's a cooldown before it can become active again. So, yep, there we go. Unfortunately, because this is a relatively new mech, it's not skilled, so I don't actually have enhanced zoom for my laser. But hey, what can you do? And then streak SRM, can't fire it. Muted. No, you're and we've got something random. Just uh, Honestly, I hate it when this happens, but it's also yeah, the first cool. time I've seen yeah, it happen in Mech Online Line <laughs> as well, despite how long I've been on it. How do I mute this? What, me? No, that music. Or the 23478. Press tab and you see the mute section on the right? Oh, I see it. Thank you. Click the speaker. That'll just mute him without blocking. No, Thank you very much. This is the sorry. first time yeah. I've ever actually had someone playing music over the comms. Want to have that randomly over. Target acquired. I was actually trying to, try to help out. Unfortunately, I'm trying to lock onto an ECM. It's not about balls. It's the f about the fact I'm actually recording a video at the moment, so I'd rather not have random music. Thank you. <laughs> If you want to right. be playing music over your comms, go into a group and do it with when people are aware you're going to do it. New target acquired. Target spotted. Uh, yeah, I'm switched. What is your problem, Atlas? I just accidentally fired my air streaks uh, way outside range, but okay. So yeah, I can fire my streaks <laughs> just fine. I it's really just can. that. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Backing up, backing up, backing up. Thanks. Okay, I think I'm going to move out on the right side. I just need to find a way up onto oh, the... Is this live? Holy shit. I mean, holy... Cancer. Please do not rush into... Well, don't do anything different for the video, actually. I just like random hey, games. I'm I'm the camera. Acquired. Smile for the camera! Ding! <laughs> I get that reference. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, I'm, I'm just making a YouTube video right now. Uh. So, last time that I upload it won't be helpful. <laughs> Sorry. Base is being captured. I've happened to mention it before, but you guys are the first ones that have actually come out and said um, a bunch of stuff about it, so you know. This is different, actually. <laughs> New target guys. acquired. Uh. <laughs> can, I, can I point out um, the, 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 the object in G4 which we have to defend? Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. If you say that now. New target acquired. Oh, I think I'm out of range. Oh, Shriek has got a three meter it. range, but I'm going to keep pulling that summoner a little bit. Oh boy, they've got the center. Ah, I think I've distracted everyone by saying I'm doing a YouTube. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, I was going to go on a whole different story about this, but it's like. Okay, yeah, I'm going to turn on my stealth armor. Jeez. 
Yep, you can keep timing with your lasers, but your missiles aren't going to do a thing. Thank you all. Kodiak with me. I'll push around back. This is strange, really. It's the moment people realise you're recording. Mm -hmm. Like, um... Acquired. Oh, waste of an LRM shot there. New target acquired. Wait, I am overheating because I've got the stealth armor on very quickly, so I'm going to turn it off. All right. New target acquired. We are doing actually quite now. Well, but yeah, people just act differently the moment they realize, oh, someone's actually recording and looking at this. It's like... Anyway, my story is quite simply that... Um, well, the one that came out uh, yesterday about the Enforcer, I was talking like, ooh, I want, I'm going to focus on trying to get... I'm going to focus on trying to get... Zeus for a start. I'm, I'm going to focus on getting sea bills, New that kind of jazz. Acquired. And then it's like, um, so I'm going to focus on trying to get that kind of thing together. But I didn't, I ne didn't try to say at all that I'm only going to play my hero max from now on. And this acquired. video kind of proves it. But ironically enough, that that also kind of proves my entire point as well. Oh wow, the uh, the, the circling on these uh, S streak SOMs is actually amazing. They are very fast tracking. Okay, I'm just going to follow this guy. Um, okay, I can't match this guy in close range, so he's going for my legs. Um, turn on my stealth and move back around. So there we go. He can't track with me as well if he is. Oh, there goes my leg. Oh no, I'm about to die. Ah, bam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the drain, it has minimum range. Scout fire, um, 90 meters. Oh dear. But yeah, the locust managed to leg me quite effectively. Anyway, um, I'll, I'll continue with the story while I watch to fi figure out what's going on. Because we're actually doing pretty well. Uh, mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I actually played the Enforcer one yesterday okay. first because I needed 600. 650,000 Z-Bills for refitting the stealth armor on that Raven. So I played that Enforcer match specifically because I need the Z-Bills for it. Ooh, ouch. That Thanatos just got absolutely murdered. Oh my. Come on, fix the targets down. No, I can't do that. I'm almost Target acquired. Yeah, the... the, the you guys. Target acquired. This was quite a close run for most of the match. Look at this, like, six light PPCs. Ouch. Oh my. So yeah, that's kind of what I mean. I want more C bills. So... I won't upload it because we're losing? Oh, no, no, no. Here go. I am perfectly fine uploading winning and losing matches. New target acquired. I mean, it's not a it's not a realistic representation of the game if you Come only on. play Oh well, look at me, I'm dead. winning all the time. Is it? Don't bother with the locusts, Win or lose, the goal is just to have fun. That's the way I see it. Nice! <laughs> Okay, CT. Honestly, I've never seen people uh, this interested. It'll be on YouTube. Um, just look for user Iron Mark 3. This video will be actually be coming out tomorrow. If you're interested, that is. Say what again? What will be the title? Um, it's just the same as my username on here. That's the username for the channel. I have never seen people this interested in it. Wow. You're alone. Lowercase m, but yes, that is correct. You guys are the first ones I've ever seen so interested in talking about it, to be quite honest. I am quite surprised. You're welcome. Still, good game, everyone. Thanks for playing. <laughs> oh, wow. I have...
I am so completely surprised by that. Still, 5 kill assists, 82 damage done. Kind of low on the damage done, but eh, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, let's go ahead. Roll on, match number 2. I am still completely surprised by that one. Wow. Oh my. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems online. Command and ground troops, defend our base and assault the enemy. Okay, here we go, ladies and gents. Welcome to match number two of two. This is once again going to be a two-match video. The map is River City. The game mode is Incursion. And as you heard from my surprise reaction right at the start, this is another match where something odd is happening. We've actually got... Normally it's like one disconnect in a match that I've seen. In this case, we've actually got three. Two on my team, one on the enemy team. So it's like... Uh, it looks like we're both down an assault of some sort. Um, we are also down a bushwhacker. Because in general, the low and the less the heavier the machine. But that, but if there's like groups and things, then that messes things up just a little bit. But yeah, I can safely say that they've lost a heavier mech. But we've lost a heavier and a medium. So, well, an assault and medium if you want to be accurate, you know. Okay, so that's the other thing that's happening in this one. The other one thing is... Um, well, I might as well do this now. A shout out to anyone who's finding this video from the previous match. It is so rare that I mention I'm actually doing a recording. And it is so much rarer still that people actually take such an interest in it. So it's like... <laughs> I still get very surprised when people actually show an interest in watching my stuff. It keeps me humble, I suppose I can say. Uh, I can't really move along here very well. I wish I had jump jets. This is a bad idea. Anyway... Ow. The uh, previous match, I kind of misplayed my Raven a little bit, but, you know, that's how I do. I'm never the best pilot around, but, and I'm just falling down lower and lower now. Oh, well, I guess climbing up the mountain was a bit pointless without jump jets. Hmm. But um, I got killed in that one because I was actually playing close. It's like, ooh, there's a light mech. I'm going to chase him with my close-range weaponry. And unfortunately, that was kind of a... A showing of why I don't especially like the having such small launches installed. I admit I was completely caught off guard. Well, this is the third thing I was surprised by. I was caught off guard by how accurate the streak SRM2 was. Like the target. the missiles like target went targeted. ooh target and then they just went straight at it really really aggressively. Onto the city. So the streaks are incredibly aggressive locking on. I was surprised by that. Very much so. Shows how often I use streaks, quite honestly, doesn't it? But then, I was trying to rely on it, and it, a single streak SRM2 just wasn't doing anything. It was about as accurate as I, I estimated it would be when I did the uh, entire video. I'm going to activate my stealth armor and start to climb. Again, I wish I had some jump jets, but you know. I've got my stealth armor up, so I can, at least I can try and figure out where... That's the thing. Oh, someone's actually spotted me, though. There's a push coming over the ridge, guys. Watch out. And they've realized that I'm up here, so they're going to try and kill me. So I need to get clear. Kind of wish I had jump jets once again, because I'm climbing on a mountainside. But luckily, my stealth armor meant that they couldn't actually lock onto me to lob missiles in my general direction. We're going to turn it off, though. Because stealth armor also messes up with my own ability to lock on as effectively as well, I think. It, it's, um, it messes my own systems up, too. Acquired. Yeah, that's a couple of assaults, though. There. Yeah, they've, they've definitely got some kind of ECM support, I think. New target acquired. Better unlatch my arms just so I can uh, angle down massively with my laser, because New I am actually at, at a high acquired. altitude right now. Oh. So, this is the uh, general thoughts on the build side of things. I have just kind of fell down the mouth a little bit. New target acquired. Uh, Honestly, I, it's a nice flexible little build with the LRMs for indirect bombardment, the laser for nice things. The, the stealth armor is occasionally useful, but it's, it's one of those um, sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't kind of things. Um. 
I mean, you got to remember my laser is in that, my right arm actually, so I can actually use it effectively from this angle. But and on the bright side, I'm giving target locks for the dire wolf for, for the rest of my team, so they can try to bombard it as well. So <laughs> I'm just sitting up here quite happily, going, "Hello, look at me." There's um. Oh, hello. New target acquired. Air control is unpowered. No, that, oh, that's way out of range of that. But yeah, the uh, the stealth armor is definitely helping out quite a lot. Oh my! Target target acquired. That mauler, it the mauler is open on its center torso. Yet me now knows I'm here. New target acquired. I'm just I'm definitely, I'm definitely playing with my scouting role. It's like um. I'm letting the, my team know where the stuff is. Fortunately, it's so low now that I'm struggling to aim at it. Oh, wait, there we go. New target acquired. Nope, oh, yep, they've realized I'm here now. Um, trigger my stealth armor. Change position slightly. <laughs> so they can't lock onto me. The, the stealth armor is very effective for, like, oh, I'm, I'm, I've been noticed. Quickly hide. But if you're actually using your weaponry, it's like a really, really bad idea to have it active. So, yeah. I don't like the Streak SRM on this. But I really do like the... Um, let's disengage this. New target acquired. Yep. I'm, I'm, definitely, I'm definitely annoying them just a tiny New bit. Target acquired. Oh, hello there. Ramp behind you guys. There's two mechs on that ramp. New target acquired. Oh my. Um, however, I am firing too rapidly for my heat systems. So third mech coming in. They're all mediums. New target acquired. So I say as I realise this is actually a Timber Wolf, which is a heavy. <laughs> Accurate reporting for the win. Oh hello. New target acquired. Heat level critical. I'm going to overheat it this way. Hotel's cool. Yeah. Working on him. I am I am on the very edge of overloading. Oh, and there we go, overload. Ooh, ow! Activate. I need to move because I've been spotted. I'm being targeted by lasers. I am overheating quite badly. Uh, but they have a perfect angle to hit me, so I'm going to trigger my stealth armor now so they can't lock on. Just as, just as the, the, I got an incoming missile warning as well. But yeah. Incoming missile. And that's the AMS doing its best to try and protect me. My legs are badly crippled. But I do need to reposition, so that's... A good thing I had the stealth armor, actually, because the stealth armor is great for when you need to hide and move. Heat level critical. But as you can see, I am overloading quite steadily as well. Oops. Uh, I'm almost overloaded. I need to back off and cool off. Unfortunately, my my team is, like, really, really bad New right now. acquired. Okay, I'm gonna lock my arms back up and just. I'm gonna shut down actually. Can I? How do I shut down? Oh wait, no. They, they know I'm here. Warning, incoming missile. Stealth armor active. I am running because I can't engage, and at least I can draw some, some of them off my allies. I can do that much, I suppose. I can get the hell away from it as well because my legs are critical. My armor is badly scored. And really, if the enemy is getting that close, it's time to back off. So, hmm. okay. I like the ER laser. I like the LRM-10. I'd rather have, I'd rather take off the Artemis, quite honestly. Big galactic probe, so-so. Don't, don't really have an opinion on it. The Streak SRM, though, is my big bugbear with this design. I am now more interested in the Streak SRMs in general. I'm going to deactivate that. So, yeah, as you can see, it, it really affects my range tracking and things like that. New target acquired. They're out of range. It really affects my sensor systems because um, when you stealth armor's on, it's like you're being affected by an ECM field, so, you know, it's not great. Unfortunately, there's like only a few ends left. I'm just going to keep lobbing missiles in their general direction. At least I can still use the LRM 10 for this, but, you know, without targeting data, I am not in a good state. Engage my stealth armor so they don't get a lock on me. 
that's an enemy marauder heading through. Just cheeky little laser before I can get into cover. <laughs> Deactivate stealth armor so I can cool off. So yeah, I'm having to very carefully heat manage. Oh, oh. Of course. The last two allies on my team are the ones that uh are that this connects. Yeah, I'm the only active mech still walking right now. <laughs> oh dear. Can you have to that? I can't I can't do a thing about the base, so my only chance really is to try and get to their base. Yeah, just standing on the top platform waiting to get shot to pieces is not the optimum battlefield strategy for your team. It is the optimum battlefield strategy for the enemy team, however, and should be encouraged wherever possible if they're the ones doing it. Just my opinion on that. Oh dear. <laughs> they seem to have found me. <laughs> yeah, that, um, when I peeked over the ridge with my stealth armor off, then it was like, they found me. Mm. Oh, well. Um, why are you calling me a dumbass for not holding back the flank? I am a sniping raven. I am not able to do that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. <sighs> there is much... Indeed. There is much blame to be given, but at the end of the day, play a game to have fun. Didn't help that we were actually two mechs down, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Life is too short, you must have fun. Well, I don't do drugs, so I wouldn't say the pot, but yeah, chill out, relax. Great time, that. I just wish there was something I could actually do at this point, but I can't. All I can do is try to push the base. Yeah, yeah, no it is. Salty that accomplishes nothing. I'm um, explaining it, um, explaining it articulately, so people, in a way that people will listen, like you did. Yeah, that makes sense. Those assholes arguing you, calling you dumb, need to go smoke some pot, do something with their lives. New target acquired. Oh dear. We've lost our radar tower. Well, that that roughneck spotted me, but I'm now actually. He's lost track of me again because I've I engaged stealth and I'm now running through dense foliage. So it's like, you know, it's like, he can't see me. So he doesn't know exactly where I've wandered off to. <laughs> so, uh, the stealth armor kept me safe from that roughneck. But, yeah. At the end of the day, there's no point just being aggressive about it, is there? No. All remaining troops, All you do is Mission has failed. I was trying to go to their base, but I, I just wasn't fast enough. Sorry about that. <laughs> Good game, everyone. GG. Oh, it's, it, this is actually one of those rarer videos where I'm talking with people a fair bit as well, isn't it? Hmm. 146 damage done, 3 kill assists, so I got 100,000 C-bills out of it. So, you know, I wasn't doing enough damage because I was in a light mech to prevent my skill rating from dropping, but pretty good. And, I, and there were some chill guys in here as well. It's always nice to see that. You can criticise, but it's like saying you're a dumbass and all that kind of thing, but, eh, well. If you do aggressively like that, people just tune you out, basically, because you're attacking them. It's, it's called constructive criticism. Explain this in a way that's interesting. You're not annoyed. You're still having fun. It's just, this could be better. Like, I think my suggestion that... Um, if the enemy is standing still on the platform waiting to be shot, we should encourage it, was actually quite a nice touch there, because, you know, it's fine if the enemy does it, <laughs> just don't follow their example, <laughs> basically. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, all in all, this build, yeah, it's definitely closer to something I would use than it was before. My only issue is just flat out, the Streak SRM2 by itself is like, uh, not great. Uh, Streak SRM6 would be n absolutely nasty, though, now that I've seen their tracking capabilities. But, I don't know. I need to poke around with the Streak SRM some more, I think. I just don't have enough experience with those. 
still, all in all, this was the build that Raz seemed interested in at, after the end of the last video. So, yeah, we've talked a bit, we played a bit, met some nice people, and I think we can call this video over and done with. This has been Iron Mark III. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll catch you all some other time, some other place, some other video, some other stream. Because, by the way, regular streams will be resuming as of uh, the next couple of days, at the point that this particular video goes out. I'm not going to commit to Monday, because at the moment, off the top of my head, I've forgotten what my work schedule is. But we will see how that goes. See you all some other time. <laughs>